Kenya Crafts presents Halloween Decor Part 1, Dead Flower Wreath. The temperatures have began to cool and the feeling of fall is in the air. That means it's time to start decorating for Halloween. Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. I mean, you don't get to put on a costume and wander around your neighborhood every day. So although this year might be kind of weird, we're making the most of it. We decided it's time to decorate, and I decided it was time for crafting. The next few videos will be all about Halloween crafts that get us in the mood. Our first craft is this dead flower wreath. Dreadfully dead flowers, lovely enough to be a great centerpiece or to hang on your door. Here's what I used. 8 inch floral rings greenery chains, individual flowers, accent marbles, spray paint, large paper clips, and lots of hot glue. Using tin snips, I cut the ends off of several paper clips. I did eight wreaths, so I cut up at least 16 paper clips. The ones I cut with longer stems seemed to work the best. These became rounded staples of sorts. I used them to hold the greenery in place while the hot glue dried. Don't throw away those straight pieces though. We have a use for those as well. I used three different types of greenery and cutting them in half seemed to be just perfect for the eight inch ring. I wrapped each one of the rings with the greenery, secured it with the staple and hot glue, and then allowed them to set overnight to fully cure. I then took them outside and put on a light coat of the matte black spray paint. I didn't spray every nook and cranny on purpose because I wanted some of the green to show through as part of the layering. After they dried, I focused small sprays of poppy red on the flowers and grapes. I basically highlighted some of the features of each wreath. I then gave each one a light dusting of the matte hammered black to dull down the red. I had also chosen some peonies and other interesting looking individual flower sprigs. I lightly coated each one of the sprigs with the matte hammered black. I set all of that aside overnight to dry. While that started drying, I cut up one inch circles out of scrap black EVA foam. I wanted 16 of them. I lined them all up and applied a glob of hot glue to the center of each one. As I applied the glue, I quickly placed one of each color of the accent marbles. I also allowed these to set overnight. The next morning, I flipped over my gem clusters and got the straight parts that we saved from cutting up the paper clips. I applied a small dollop of hot glue and stuck the end into the glob. I pressed down until I could feel the wire go into the foam. After they set up, I matched up my gem clusters into pairs that I felt looked best together. I also took the flower sprigs and used the tin snips to cut the flowers from the stems. I took some of those and played around and arranged them on the wreath until I found a placement that I found appealing. I used hot glue to bind some of the loose flowers into a grouping that I liked. While that was setting, I applied hot glue to the back of one of the peonies and carefully poked the stem into the wreath. I repeated the same process with one of the gem clusters. I then picked a more bare spot and applied hot glue, pressing the flower cluster there and the final gem cluster then next to it. I was so happy with the results. However, some options that you could add for more flair are things like spray adhesive and a dusting of glitter, fake spider webs draped all around, and gluing in other tiny features like bats, skulls, and spiders. Thank you so much for decorating for Halloween with us. Tune in next week for another fun Halloween craft. Make sure to share your pictures in the comments. 
like and subscribe to see more fun crafts. Until next week, crafters.